Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, mari kita teruskan perbincangan kita dalam example 9. Nah, example 9 adalah example masih lagi dalam equilibrium tetapi example 9 adalah berkaitan dengan dynamic equilibrium. Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan dynamic equilibrium? Dynamic equilibrium bermaksud objek bergerak dengan constant velocity. So dia ada dua types, two types of equilibrium. The first one is what we discuss in example 6, 7 and 8 uh, that is related to static equilibrium in which the object is stationary. But in example 9 and 8, both object move with constant velocity. The net force on the object is zero. So, sama dengan uh, static equilibrium, membezakannya adalah dia bergerak. Tetapi dengan constant velocity. Okay, now, soalan dia berbunyi, a car with weight 15,000 newton is being towed up at a 20 degree angle at a constant velocity. So, itu dia dynamic equilibrium. Bila constant velocity, net force zero. Friction is negligible. So, tidak ada friction. So, soalan ni senang. The tow rope is rated 6,000 newton maximum tension. So, apa maksudnya? So, mari kita listkan dulu non-value. Non-value kita di sini adalah weight of the car that is 15,000 newton at an angle theta 20 degree. At a constant velocity, that means sum of F is equals to zero. Friction is negligible, so no friction. And then, dia kata the tow rope is rated 6,000 newton means that the maximum tension the rope can withstand is 6,000 newton. Now, will it break? That's the question. So, apa sebenarnya yang dia nak? Yang kita tak tahu dalam soalan ini ialah what is the tension? Is the tension larger than T max? If the tension is larger than T max, yes, it will break. However, if the tension is smaller than 600 Newton, is smaller than T max, then the answer for the question is no. Okay? Kerana tension dia kurang daripada 6,000. Maximum tension yang tali itu boleh tahan adalah 6,000. So, kalau kurang ataupun sama dengan 6,000, tali tidak akan putus. Tetapi kalau lebih daripada value 6,000 Newton, uh, the rope will break. Now, first, let's identify the forces on the object. So, we have tension along the rope with is always vertically downward and normal force is perpendicular to the surface. So, ada tiga forces and let's redraw uh, the forces in a coordinate axis as a free body diagram. Now, since the object is on an inclined plane, therefore, our axis should be tilted uh, untuk sama dengan Inclined plane. So, kalau inclined plane kita sengat begini, maka axis saya pun juga sengat. So, X and Y. So, di sini kita tahu tension is along the direction of the plane. And then, normal force is perpendicular to the plane. And weight is vertically downward. So, apabila kamu lukis weight di atas kertas, make sure you you draw it using uh, rulers. Okay, kalau tak nanti kita nampak weight kamu tu uh, tidak tegak ke bawah dan nanti keliru pula waktu nak resolve vector. So, itu weight. Now, in free body diagram, kita nak labelkan angle theta yang ada di sini. Angle theta yang ada pada diagram itu sama dengan angle between weight and y component. So, that is angle theta 20 degree. So, the next thing we should do is we should resolve the forces in a table untuk kita faham bagaimana untuk kita selesaikan perkara ini. Tapi sebenarnya kalau yang dah 
Pandai sebenarnya ada pelajar yang tak pun masukkan dalam table Tapi untuk peringkat tahun pertama kita ni Kita sentiasa masukkan dalam table So table kita mesti ada F X component Dan juga Y component So ada tiga tension uh, Ada tiga forces uh, dalam kes ini Which is normal force Tension and weight For From the diagram, uh, the normal force lies along y axis, not on the x axis and not in between y and x. So, saya boleh kata since n is on y axis, so nx is 0 while n1 is equals to n. Value, kita tak tahu. Okay, so let's just label it as n. And then... For tension, tension uh, is on x axis, uh, not on a y axis or not in between x and y axis. So, saya boleh kata tension x is equals to 0 while tension, I'm sorry, tension y is equals to 0 while tension x is equals to t. Mm -hmm. And wait, okay, so... Kita boleh tengok di sini, wait, we can resolve it into um, Y component and X component. So, WX from this figure is, WX is opposite to angle theta. So, kalau opposite, therefore, kita pakai cos so wx is equals to hypotenuse is w cos theta and the direction is in the negative x direction so negative w cos theta i'm sorry if it is opposite it is sin theta sorry sekali lagi ya eh? wx is opposite to angle theta therefore Wx is equals to W sine theta and it is negative because uh, Wx is in the negative direction. Okay, dia berada di sebelah kiri x axis. Manakala Wy is, opposite, uh, is adjacent to angle theta. Bersebelahan dengan angle theta. If it is adjacent, adjacent we use cos theta. So, hypotenuse time cos theta and from this diagram, WY is in the negative direction. So, dia ada di bawah Y axis. So, kita kata negative W cos theta. Now, since the object is in dynamic equilibrium, move with constant velocity, and the net force is 0, therefore, sum of FX is equals to 0, sum of FY is equals to 0. What we want to find in this question is, T. If we look at the table, pada Y component, tidak ada pun simbol T. TY is 0. So, there is no T in Y component. N, W, kita tak nak cari N. Kita nak cari T. Malangnya TY is 0. Therefore, automatically, kalau kita nak cari T, kita tidak boleh pakai Y com. Y component. However, in X component, kita ada T. W is a non-value and angle theta is also a non-value. So, to solve this, okay, so we need to solve X component to find the value of T. So, sum of fx is equals to 0 and x plus tx plus wx is equals to 0. 0 plus t plus negative w sine theta is equals to 0. So, kita boleh substitute t is equals to w sine theta. I rearrange the equation and w is given 18 15,000 Newton sine 20 degree. So, T is equals to 5,130 
0.3 newton now this value is obviously less than 600 newton therefore the answer is no the rope will not break so that's all for this uh, video thank you so much for watching